Sulawesi, this unusually shaped island, has a breathtaking diversity of flora and fauna. Surrounded by the rich seas of the Indonesian archipelago with extensive coral reefs habitats, it boasts a massive 6,000 km coastline dotted with stunning beaches and numerous volcanoes, both active and inactive, that offer spectacular views. This is Sulawesi. The trip starts in Ramang Ramang, a place that offers panoramic views of limestone hills overgrown with dense vegetation. Only an hour's drive by motorbike from Makassar. This place takes its name from the Makassar word for fog or cloud. To explore the area, take a boat from the small city to the hidden valley. where you can stroll along wooden pathways, marvel at stunning caves and landscapes, and replenish your energy with fresh coconut along the way. Back in the village, you can spend the night in a cozy cottage, where in the morning you will be treated to a delicious breakfast of pancakes and fruits, courtesy of the friendly cottage owners. Next stop is the small hill town Malino. This charming destination is a popular weekend escape for folks in Makassar. Surrounded by limestone mountains, lush rice fields and waterfalls. Don't forget your jacket. Temperatures range between 10 and 26 degrees and it can get foggy during the wet season. This can make for breathtaking views though as blankets of fog sweep down the mountain peaks. And when the sun sets, just sit back and marvel as the rice fields are bathed in golden hues, creating a truly breathtaking sight to behold. From Molino, we make our way down to Manado, the second largest city in Sulawesi. From the port, we set sail for the underwater paradise of Bunaken. On this boat, the locals transport food and other essentials for the island. The shallow water near the beach means that the crew has to maneuver very skillfully to get to the shore. Punakan Island is a treasure trove of marine life, teeming with an abundance of coral, fish and mammal species. But even if you're not a licensed diver, there's plenty of other great things to do and explore. Just witnessing the stunning sunsets or sunrises is already a sight to behold. You can also join a fishing trip or a dolphin tour guided by local boat operators who will take you up close and personal with these majestic creatures. The awe-spiring sight of dolphins swimming just off the island's coast is truly a memory to cherish. Now we trade in the water paradise for the city on the mainland, Tomohon. With an altitude of seven to a thousand meters, Tomohon has a cooler temperature than Manado. Due to the tropical rainforest climate, rainfall is plentiful even in the driest month. Tomohon is truly a hidden treasure with its fiery energy of active volcanoes and tranquil beauty of cascading waterfalls, offering an excellent hike that will leave you in awe by wonders. 
we start with Mount Locom. An impressive 1580 meter high active volcano with an adjacent twin volcano named Ampun. The two hour hike to reach Mount Locon is a thrilling experience with a big part of the route following the dry river bed that was once an old lava flow from the mountain. The top of Mount Locon offers a craterless summit with the Tompulon crater at its foot serving as a hotspot for hiking and even camping for the night. The evaporated gases have the classic rotten egg smell, so you might want to bring a mask. Unlike Mount Lokon, Mount Mahavu is much easier to climb. You can easily reach the top by riding your motorbike most of the way up, with just a short 5 minute staircase left to climb. At the summit, you can take a full circle stroll around the edge that takes about an hour to complete, with stunning views of Tomohon, Mount Lokon and Manado. Mind you that the left side is nice and easy, and the right side, not so much. Unlike other volcanoes that tend to be sandy at its peaks, the Mahawu Peak is a lush and green with an abundance of plantations. We trade the volcanoes for waterfalls, which the area of Tomohan has plenty of. These waterfalls are formed by small river beds that turn into cascading streams that plunge into a pool of water. Some even seem as loud as jet engines. Almost all waterfalls that require effort to reach, which makes it even more rewarding when you reach them. Beware of slippery and overgrown paths. If you love the smell of rain, you definitely love the smell of waterfalls, fresh and alluring. The Green Valley is located right next to Tomahan and also a must-visit destination. This area is perfect for a scooter ride or a leisurely walk where you can see the harvest of the rice fields up close and the methods of how they protect the fields. Feel the peace and quietness of the area and visit one of the gardens which offer astounding views. A 45 minute motorbike ride away from Tomahon, we head to the Ranalevo Hot Springs. Here you will find three hot springs, two of which are blue and one that's a bit more grey in color. Make sure to choose your spot wisely as temperatures can rise pretty far up, which you can see clearly from the steam evaporating from the water. The hot spring you see here is the only one that is suitable for taking a local swim. Soaring 600 meters above sea level, Lake Tondano is a breathtaking crater lake that boasts a wealth of fish farms and it's the second biggest lake in Indonesia. Surrounded by sprawling rice fields to the south and dotted with restaurants along its roads, Lake Tondano offers a scenic journey by car, bicycle or motorbike. The roads are small and mostly flat. Take your time to explore the lakeside villages and observe the hard-working locals tending to their farms. Not far from Tomahan lies a gem of nature, Lake Linao, a volcanic lake. Deriving its name from the Minahasa language, meaning water gathering place, Lake Linao is a spectacular crater lake that showcases the raw beauty of nature. The lake is known for its vibrant hues, which change frequently due to the varying chemical composition of the water. However, be prepared for a strong sulfurous odor 
as the lake is home to several hydrothermal vents that spew hot gas from its edges and depths. To admire the hydrothermal vents up close, take a stroll to the left side of the lake. To fully immerse yourself in the serene atmosphere, it's best to visit in the morning when the air is crisp and the crowds are minimal. From the wonders of Tomahon, we venture to a place a bit more north, Tonkoko National Park. The Tonkoko Nature Reserve is a flora and fauna conservation area on Mount Tonkoko. This protected area is particularly attractive for its unique wildlife that can be observed roaming free in the forest including the social and playful black macaques. You can only explore the park by foot and it's recommended to take a local guide with you. With their expertise you will have a better chance of encountering the wildlife. From the rich wildlife in Tenkoko we head to our last destination, Pal Beach. Hidden away in the northern reaches of Sulawesi, Pal Beach is a serene hidden paradise. A popular weekend destination for the locals, the beautiful stretch of pink golden sand surrounded by verdant hills and crystal clear water is sure to leave you in awe. With its breathtaking beauty, you may just find yourself returning to Pal Beach more than once. And even with all these wonderful places we visited, we only have seen the tip of the iceberg that Sulawesi has to offer.